Hey guys, welcome back to Transcended Institute. In this video, we are doing a continuation of the 2023 Internal Biology Past paper. That's uh, paper 2. And we are on question 5. So let's get into it. Question 5 reads, define the following terms used in genetics. And then the first term we have is recessive allele. Okay. So... A recessive allele is one that is overshadowed in the uh, phenotype by the presence of a dominant allele. Okay, so this is an allele. This is an allele. Other people say allele. I don't know which one is the correct pronunciation, but this is an allele that is overshadowed. That is overshadowed in the phenotype. In the phenotype by the presence by the presence of a dominant of a dominant allele okay and then we go to 5 2 which is uh, the definition for phenotype so a phenotype is an outward expression of the genotype okay so this is an outward expression of the genotype of the genotype so in this form of physical characteristics um, of an organism so this is an outward expression of the genotype in the form of a uh, physical characteristics in the form of physical characteristics physical characteristics character characteristics of an organism organism yeah, so let me just explain on the recessive so um, this is when you have uh, let me say a short mother and a tall father and then they have a tall child it means the short alleles for the mother were recessive they did not show so much in the offspring which is their child okay and then on phenotype to explain this uh, this is actually the physical characteristics okay uh, is it total is it short short that's what a phenotype is like the physical expression of um, uh, a genotype okay let me go to question 5b and question 5b reads jen has blood group o and has a child of blood group b she accuses john of blood group ab to be the father of her child with the help of a genetic diagram determine the possible offspring to conclude whether or not John could be the father. Okay, so let me scroll a little bit more for more uh, space because we're going to start uh, writing the genetic diagram. So we have parental phenotype. Okay, parental phenotype. Uh, which is blood group O and then we have blood group AB okay and then we have parental genotype parental genotype 
which is I also remember the, the mother is blood group O so O has no exception it's O O but uh, the father is A B so we have A we have B or at least John who is a suspect okay and then we have gametes so on gametes you pretty much just separate these two you say I O I O I A I B okay and then we cross so you start with the first one this is the easier way you start um, crossing the first one with both and then you also cross the second one with both so that you don't confuse them okay that's the easier way that I do it and then uh, the, the the results that we find here a code of offspring genotype I'm going to write that um, in a few but now so this is where they meet here is IO and IA so IO IA and then here it's IO I B and then this is I O I A and then this is I O I A so you pretty much look at the ends here and see where the two arrows are going that's how you find uh, what's right at the bottom and then this is called the offspring genotype okay and then we go to the offsprings phenotype okay offspring phenotype so the offspring phenotype this is going to be blood group A this is blood group B this is blood group A and blood group B again so note that as long as this uh, O is a recessive uh, cell so A or B are either dominant when they are um, crossed with blood group O so O cannot be dominant if it has been crossed with A automatically A is going to dominate over okay so let me see if there is more space uh, I would like to note that um, since the values for B, uh, for blood group A and B are dominant to that of blood group O, a blood group A person can have the genotype. Um, so a blood group A person can have IA, IA, or IO, IA. So both of these mean blood group A, okay? So if you see either of these, it's blood group A. Except in this situation, uh, blood group O is recessive and blood group A is dominant. So in the same type, uh, someone with blood group B can have IB, IB, or IO, IB okay and then the person with blood group a b they just have the same thing you cannot uh, uh, have anything different because you know there's nowhere to put o and stuff like that and the person with blood group o it's also just o and it doesn't change okay so there are no alternative blood groups for blood group a b and blood group o to be uh, in short right so thank you very much for coming this far with this video and if you have any questions you can leave a comment make sure you have subscribed to the channel make sure you have liked this video and please suggest on what paper you'd like to see next as you prepare for your GCE as you prepare for your final exams thank you very much